What are Funko Hidden Gems? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and cats. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Bumble's out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell along, we are together. Yes. Show us their gems. Oh, that sounds so dirty. Are they big? I don't know. I haven't seen them yet. Oh, I bet they're big. They got to have big gems because they put out those Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage pops. You got to have some big gems to do shit like that. Ugh, you're right. So this Monday the 20th, Funko will be doing something called Hidden Gems. And it's um unearthed exclusives. So last year, it was a lot of store and con exclusives that I guess didn't f***ing sell, so they decided to put them on their website. I don't know about that, Heather, because we got the 10-inch art series Boba Fett, and that was pretty popular. Okay, with the exception of that, and the Hulk with the broken hammer. And Darth Vader, the I am your father, Darth Vader. Okay, first of all, spoiler alert. Second of all, did people buy that? People bought it, yeah, I think, no. Not many. I mean, it's a cool Funko Pop, but of course Funko attached the name Hidden Gem to this thing. I think it's gonna be a bunch of bullshit. Can we be more positive here? Last year it included the loot llama. You wanted it. The loot llama? Yes, you wanted the loot llama. No, I did yes, not. Yes, you did. I remember you telling me you wanted the loot llama. You put it Why on your Why are you gonna Christmas sit list? here and lie about it right now in front of the entire audience? Okay, there's like five people watching this video. And we're ending the conversation right there. You can end it, but the conversation ended. 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 What if they put up that blue seal from SDCC? Why are you even bringing this up? Nobody wants that. Yeah, and nobody wanted the sh that was in last year's hidden gems, Chris. Well, the hidden gems under Earth exclusives means not only could they drop Funko Shop exclusives, but they could also drop exclusives from various retailers. So that means we could literally get anything. Basically, this means that they're clearing out a warehouse somewhere. What if we get some of those Target exclusive Castaway Pops? Fuck! But I wonder, does Funko have a really fun card up their sleeve where they're gonna sell some Funko exclusives that have not dropped yet, like the Deku glow in the dark? I don't think so. I think if they drop any Funko Shop exclusives, it's gonna be the ones that had the notify me button that were supposed to be re-release. Like Pietro, the Batman die cast, the Iron Man die cast. That Snow White with the gold pin. These are all pops that could possibly resurface, but it would be super awesome if they posted things that we haven't got yet at all. Like the Vampire Freddy Funko Soda with the Skeleton Chase. Can you imagine if they dropped that? That would blow everybody's mind. Or what we've all been waiting for. Okay. That Boo Berry Box cereal. All right. Or I, boo berry cereal box. Uh, ah, I hope they don't. Or could it be a store exclusive like the Black Panther and tea? Something that a lot of people have been unable to get because it was canceled or delayed. Could it be that Funko finally has a huge stash of these things and now they're going to go up on Funko.com? That would be weird, but that would be cool because a lot of people have not been able to find it in their Target stores. But what if we got a bunch of Funko exclusives that said sold out in the past, but they're gonna put back up on the website, like Blacklight Ghost Rider. Blacklight Carnage. Or Blacklight Hulk from Funko.com. Or more New York Comic Con exclusives because they seem to just release Funko Pops and slap stickers on them all the time. Yeah. Did you guys see that there's a picture circulating with the Watcher Funko Pop with a New York Comic Con sticker on it? That's crazy. Could it be possible that we'll get a plethora of things that is just straight up awesome? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Oh, Monday's gonna suck. I mean, it's gonna be a great video though. If it's great things, that's gonna make a great video. But if it's really bad things, that's gonna make an even better video. Cause we're gonna trash the out of it. So, store exclusives, Funko exclusives, Funko Pops that had the notify me button, and anything else that seems completely 
random could possibly show up on Funko.com on Monday the 20th. Personally, the thing I'd like to see on there the most is the black light, Black Panther, and T, because I want to see people finally get it in their hands. There's way too many people out there complaining right now. People get angry. Mm, yes, they do. They all want to sell their black light collection because they're missing one piece that's hardly even shown up in stores yet. Most of those people threaten to burn their entire collections. If you happen to know somebody who threatened to burn their collection, then finally burned the collection and took a photo of it, please share it with us. Send it to us at gasocasualgmail.com. Yeah, I've seen at least like a hundred comments that say I'm burning my collection, but they never do. I've never seen someone's pop collection set on fire. I mean, if if you had a whole pile of these guys, I could see why you would do it. Can you imagine if this goes up on Funko.com? I think it still is there. Is it really? I think. Is it possible they're going to take Funko exclusives that are on the website now and kind of push them into that, like, yeah. list? People will get FOMO and they'll just click everything. Absolutely. That is a brilliant marketing idea because they don't let you return sh yeah, Funko, that's a perfect idea. Just take everything from Funko.com, all of your exclusives, and just put them all on one page and call it the Hidden Gems. Sell out of all that I bet you there'll be one item on there that everybody's gonna want, like the blue, black light Jimi Hendrix. Everybody's gonna go crazy over it. It'll sell out and that'll be it. The day, day's over. If that actually goes up. I have a feeling things like that are gonna go up. I don't think so. Speaking of black light Jimi Hendrix, we got our yellow one in. Do you want to see it? No. Okay, I'm showing it. I don't give, I don't give a f I don't care. Well, if you show that, I got a black light of my own that I'm gonna show. Oh, really? I bet yeah, it's really. dumb. It's not. It's stupid. It's really I'm not. looking right at it, it's dumb. All my exclusives from the ECC drop finally arrived. I got Jimi Hendrix, I got the Cheddar Goblin, and I got Ang. Why did I buy this So there's Ang, and he's a cool looking Fungu Pop, although I don't know a thing about Avatar. Look out for him at an upcoming giveaway, because that's what we'll end up doing with Are You Serious? Yeah, this is boring. And then we have the Cheddar Goblin from the film Mandy. I don't know a thing about Mandy. I've never seen the film, but look at that green little buttocks. I love the butt. You know what else is really weird about him? He's really veiny. Oh, he's so disgusting looking. Like a trouser snake. He's got macaroni and cheese coming out of his mouth, and it also has a little Cheddar Goblin box in his hand. That's kind of cool. So he has like these swirls. Doesn't it look like the Internet Explorer E? I think he looks kind of cool. Like I'm looking forward to seeing what he looks like under the black light. Heather, what is your black light? My good friend Ismail sent me 11 black light. She has purple metallic eyebrows just like Jimmy does. Look at her outfit. The outfit looks cool. So there's the black light Jimi Hendrix and he looks amazing under the black light. He really stands out, doesn't he? He does. He looks really, really good. I still don't like his pants in not the black light. I feel like his pants and his hair clash a little bit, but under the black light, he's incredible. The outfit is my favorite part. I think she's really cool. I love the different colors in her. I just, I, I really dig it. So what do you think about Funko Hidden Gems and what are you expecting on Monday? And how do you like our Jimmy and Eleven Black Light Pops? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Darth Stevie, Marky Tony, Funko Fan 626, Naisha McGinnis, Moondoggy16, Boomy Pops, Eddie Hamill, Richard Perez, Rudy Castillo, and Calvin Lee. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. Don't forget, head over to mysterygrill.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern where they drop their brand new Mystery Grill boxes for the week. And those boxes come with Funko Pops, candy, and a scratch-off ticket that can reveal points that you can use on their prize shop. Head over to mysterygirl.com to find out more. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.